Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter, and today I'm going to be showing off one of the slickest and most amazing assets I've actually ever used. If you ever wanted to make your own usable computer, now you can with Dream OS. And it's a fully featured UI system which almost works like you could imagine Windows or something like that. You can play music, use a calculator, browse websites, receive and send emails, do messaging, and everything that you'd need from an in game computer which can really bring your game to life. And I've got a game for you to play as well. I may well have this segment in every video. And John Riccatello, everybody's famous former Unity CEO, will appear in this video somewhere. And if you know where he appears, comment down below. So this is DreamOS on the Unity Asset Store and it often comes on sale. And at this very moment of recording this video, it is on sale for 57% off, but even for the original price, it is quite incredible. I did want to know when you get started and you import this from the package manager, make sure that you install and update when it brings out the pop-out, install the additional features because it uses the new input system and you may need to just restart the Unity editor and just make sure you do the re-import again. So first of all, I'm going to give you a rundown of what this actually does. So you can see in this scene, it's a multiple scene with multiple instances of computers which you could use. You can walk up to it and you can see we smoothly transition into the screen. You can actually exit this if you press escape, but if you press F, it has a nice smooth camera system to be able to pull you in. You've got applications on this side where you can use things. Let's say we'll double click something like this calculator and it works exactly like you'd expect one to work on your normal PC. It's got floating around apps, text, icons, nice little animations. There's a photo gallery. So you can add all things into the system perfectly before you even start your game. If you want to add this, we'll have different functionality for the game you've got, whether you need a mystery game and you're looking for clues in exactly what's happening. And each of the tabs often have different functionality on the left hand side to create buttons for exactly what you need to use and it's got really nice slick transitions you've got a nice mail app and you can see that we've got loads of different emails from here and you can see that there's loads of different attachments that we can add where we can have a picture attachment where you can see i didn't realize that this one was here but there you go very relevant you even got a music player i won't play the music because there might be some copyright issues but you can add your own music tracks in nice and easily within the array and you can just press to play each of these and you can test them out there's a notepad so you can actually have notes already written here or add brand new ones here so you can see the my new note there and you can add some text in here whatever you want there's a widget library to show you exactly what you should have whether you want the alarm clock the music player or the quick note to show different things that might be going on. So you can then reposition these around your desktop. And even if I come out of here, you can see that they're still positioned exactly where they were before, which is really cool. And you even have one, something called a web browser, which you, of course you can reposition and you can open these windows in and out. And again, you've got favorites and downloads if you set some things up. And there's a few example <laughs> websites actually on here. So if we double click this one, it goes into there and you can create these yourself to make it look like and feel like a believable computer. And actually the funny thing is, let's say we go to the bottom here and you can see this test network, you can specify networks yourself. See if we disconnect, we're not actually connected to the internet. It's only fake internet, of course. Now, if we go here, you can see that now we try and go there, we shows that we don't have an internet connection. So you can create custom ones to make it feel really believable, like it's exactly like you would on your own computer. You've even got a tab for settings, so you can create brand new custom colors for every different app, the different backgrounds, and whether you want items to snap or do otherwise. There's things like reminders, and you can even build little games like this one is the test hub. And you can see, let's say we pick the tic-tac-toe game, and you can see here we can play a game. And let's see, there you go zero wins just as a core examples of how you can extend this and you do have a windows tab and you can lock and refresh and turn off so if we just click turn off you can see that we exit the monitor and we have to wait for it to log back in and you can see even if i exit it logs back in and you can press any key and it remembers everything that was there before and you can control most of this by opening out one of the dream os if you were using this one by itself it wouldn't have the other instances but you can see on the desktop on the apps and windows you've got the different managers which control and make up every single one of these different elements so say we go to the mail manager you can add new mail to the array which you can already add to the system to make sure that they spawn 
as the start and there's nice icons to be able to control the resources, the settings and everything. And just like with pictures here, you can see that the picture items, all these ones that appear by default, and most of them work with scriptable objects. So you can see they either work with scriptable objects or the default Unity UI components because you can have a title, description, and what will appear in each of the sections. And do be aware, there's actually some great documentation to show you how to get started on their documentation page. And there is even ways to extend it by looking at how to, say you want to look at how to add messages, you can choose to create them. But I'm gonna give you an example of how you can create your own email and then be able to set your own notification which pops out on the screen. So if you want to make this happen in real time in your game. If you go to Tools, Dream OS, you can see that you can select all the different libraries that would control exactly what they have. So the playlist library for music is there and the different wallpapers, the different music, the different mail and the chat. But what you can do to create your own mail is you use a scriptable object. You can go create, you can go Dream OS and we can choose new mail item. I'm just going to name that the speed tutor mail and you can see that you can send that. You could specify that this will start in the inbox, the sent box or the junk box. We can have the subject of I'll put epic tutorial. The first name is me. You can put some details in. You can set the date that you want this to be sent from and you can even set the contact image to whatever but I'll leave that a bit default and you can add some generic content. So I've got that ready to go and I want to be able to add that to the system at runtime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new C Sharp script. And I'm going to call this custom email sender. We need to use the namespace mitchsky.dreamos if I pronounce that right. And you need that at the top to be able to access some of the information that we need. And then what I'm going to do is create two private fields, one for that is going to access the mail manager and one that's going to be the mail item that we want to create when we want to create it. I'm just going to create a really quick input line. So when I press T, which is going to run that method that I want to use. I will then access some functionality which will make this do it. So I want to say that my mail manager dot mail asset because this is the thing that has the list of information that one will say item equals new mail manager dot mail asset and open that up to create a new section for us. And we'll say item dot mail asset equals mail item to be created as in that's what we're going to add to that list. Then we're going to say that our mail manager which is the lowercase dot mail list dot add and then we're going to add that brand new item and then we need to say that the mail manager dot initialize mails we need to make sure that we once we've added new content we need to initialize it to make sure that they appear i'm going to just go to my empty game object here add my custom email sender and say that the mail that i want to do is that speed tutor email and then from my list i want to use the mail manager you wouldn't have so many in the list if you were using a scene with just one of these. Now, if we access our computer again, and this time, if I open up my mail app and I press T, you can see that I just received that email that I'd created. You can see the date it sent, the time, where it came from, and the information that was in it. Now, I know you might be asking me that there was no indication that happened, no sound. Well, we can create a notification to do that, and it has its own notification system. And again, this is all on the online documentation, which can help you out. But I'm going to have two fields, one which is the notification manager and one which is a sprite that we'll use. I'm going to start off and say that the notification manager dot create notification and you've got notification, notification with buttons, and notification with pop out. I'm just going to have a clear notification just so that we can easily control it. And you can see that this takes an icon, a title, a description, where they should create a pop out and when they should enable sound. So as you can imagine, I'm just going to have the notification icon as my icon that I want to use. I'm going to have text as, I'm just going to say that it's new mail because I'm not specifying. And then maybe I'll have hidden content just to make it so that we can use this generically across as many different things as we want. And we'll say true, we want it to pop out. And then we'll say true, we also want it to play a sound to make it obvious to the user that that's going to happen. So I'll go back to my script here and you can see that it's looking for the notification manager and I'm looking for an icon and it comes with loads of different icons. So we might choose that one. That one looks good. And hopefully you can hear this. I'll do an example and I'll press T. You can see that the notification came up had a pop out and you can see now in our mail app, you can see it came again. Now let's say we spam it. We could do that. And you can see that we get loads of emails with the same copy 
but all the notifications do disappear over time. So you can do this, but it was just a, a sheer example that you can make something appear in the system and have notifications to make it feel like a believable system. And remember that a lot of the different items or the managers, like the different apps, like the calculator, as an example, you can see that it has events if you need to do something with them. And then you've got resources to show you exactly which the canvas group and the animator. And then you've got settings, which you can disable on start. You can use background blur. You can set it to the nav draw. You can allow gestures. You can do loads and loads and loads of awesome things. Just like with a music player, you can set how much you want in the nav bar width whether you want it minimalized and the animation curve. And it's just got so many things in here. I just don't have enough time to show you exactly what it's got, but it might be something perfect for you for your next game. And I hope you check it out on the Unity Asset Store because you really will not be disappointed. Be sure to check out all the links in the description because I've got all the deals, savings and everything you can find for this month. And also be sure to check out my Patreon to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to Peter Steiner and Very Shooter for their amazing support. And thank you for everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.